Two popular dividend ETFs are SPYD, the Spider Portfolio S&P 500 High Dividend ETF, and VYM, the Vanguard High Dividend Yield ETF. They're more different than you may realize. Let's compare them. First, note that I don't chase dividends, but I recognize that many investors use dividends to supplement their current income, particularly in retirement. Others simply irrationally prefer dividend-paying stocks. I even designed a dividend-focused portfolio for income investors. In any case, these two funds are very popular popular and take a pretty different approach. Here we'll review these dividend ETFs and explore the differences between them. SPYD launched in 2015. It is the Spider Portfolio S&P 500 High Dividend ETF. As the name suggests, SPYD is comprised of a basket of high yield stocks from the S&P 500. Appropriately, SPYD tracks the S&P 500 High Dividend Index. This index is pretty simple. It takes the 80 highest yielding stocks from the S&P 500 and equally weights them. VYM is the Vanguard High Dividend Yield ETF. It seeks to track the FTSE High Dividend Yield Index. Its selection methodology is pretty simple, albeit a little more complex than SPYD. VYM ranks stocks by 12-month forecasted dividend yield, excludes REITs, selects the top half, and then weights them by market cap. SPYD and VYM have an overlap of only about 27% by weight. This is illustrated more clearly in the sector breakdown that we'll look at here in a second. In terms of factor exposure compared to VYM, SPYD provides greater exposure across size, value, and profitability. Loadings on investment are equal. VYM tilts large with negative loading on size. While SPYD and VYM both have significant assets, VYM is much more popular. VYM is also slightly cheaper at 0.06% compared to 0.07% for SPYD. Yield chasers may appreciate SPYD's higher yield by about half a percent. At the time of this video, SPYD has a dividend yield of 3.99% compared to 3.18% for VYM. Now let's check out the sector breakdown of SPYD and VYM. Notice how sector exposure differs pretty wildly between these funds for some sectors. For example, SPYD has comparatively very low exposure to consumer discretionary, industrials, and technology, and drastically overweights energy, utilities, and REITs. VYM is much more even across all sectors, but obviously excludes REITs and also massively overweights financials. Here's a performance back test of SPYD and VYM going back to SPYD's inception in 2015 and looking through 2021. During that time, SPYD has lagged VYM on both a general and risk-adjusted basis. Also notice the much larger max drawdown for SPYD from the March 2020 crash and its considerably greater volatility compared to VYM. If you're solely focused on yield and or prefer to massively overweight utilities, REITs, and energy relative to both VYM and the broader market, SPYD may be of use. If in Instead, you want to make a sector bet on financials, maintain some tech exposure, and exclude REITs, you may like VYM more. In any case, in my opinion, neither of these funds is perfectly suitable as a core holding in a well-diversified portfolio. Moreover, if one wants to target the factor exposure that explains the returns of these funds, you may be better off simply using funds that directly target those factors. Conveniently, both SPYD and VYM should be available at any major broker. Do you own either of these dividend ETFs? ETFs in your portfolio, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Some of the links below are referral links at no additional cost to you. If you choose to make a purchase or sign up for a service after clicking through those links, I may receive a small commission. This allows me to continue producing high quality content on this channel and pays for the occasional cup of coffee. I have firsthand experience with every product or service I recommend and I recommend them because I genuinely believe they are useful.